morning of the Orange Bowl dawned bright and clear. This was the 50th anniversary game, matching Miami's own Hurricanes against the Big 8 champion Nebraska Cornhuskers. With a number one ranking, the Heisman and Outland Trophy winners, and a devastating triple threat offense, the Cornhuskers were already being called the greatest team of all time. The Hurricanes came into the game as 15-point underdogs, but a flame of optimism burned confidently in the hearts of Miami players. At the Cotton Bowl, Georgia upset number two ranked Texas. So just four hours before kickoff, the Orange Bowl suddenly became the game for the national championship. To win, Miami would have to stop Heisman Trophy winner Mike Rogier. The symbol of Miami's defensive intensity was backup linebacker Jacinto Fernandez, who came off the bench to eventually win the most valuable defensive player award. Shakespeare is split wide to the right. The backs are split behind Kozar. Second and short, like a free play down the middle. Dennison, he scores! Touchdown pass, Glenn Dennison! With a minute and eight left to play in the first quarter. Would you believe it? It is 16 to nothing, Miami. The nation wondered how Tom Osborne in Nebraska would respond. The answer was the devious Fumble Ruski. Guard Dean Stein Cooler's surprise touchdown aggravated Coach Nellenberger and stole momentum away from the Canes. But early in the third quarter, when a turnover gave Nebraska a chance to take the lead, the Hurricanes changed the course of the game by turning them away without a touchdown. Having withstood Nebraska's knockout attempt, Miami counterattacked with renewed strength. Kozar, Highsmith, dive, touchdown Miami. Just 15 minutes away from the ultimate goal, fighting superior size and depth, the Hurricanes found courage in the lessons learned at East Carolina and Florida State. They braced themselves as Nebraska made one last classic attempt to come back. Finally, on fourth down, with 48 seconds showing on the clock, reserve tailback Jeff Smith brought the Huskers to within a point of Miami. When Nebraska went for two, the outcome of a national championship hung in the balance. You're right down to the guts of it right here, friends. 31 to 30, going for two. Gill takes, looks, rolls, throws. Deflected away! Deflected away! Miami leads 31-30. They tried for two and didn't make it. With a flick of Ken Calhoun's wrist, Miami's impossible, incredible, unbelievable dream came true. The Miami Hurricanes had defeated number one ranked unbeaten Nebraska to become the national champions of collegiate football. It had been one of the greatest college football games ever played and one this team and this community will never forget.
Andrew Johnson, touchdown! For the end zone, and Coley, he's got him! The ball's loose, Miami has the ball! Stacey Coley goes all the way, got him, touchdown! Miami, intercepted by Miami, Tracy Howard. Duke Johnson running left, Duke Johnson, touchdown!